Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Austin Henline. Uh, today I wanted to show you guys just three quick tips about how you can use the LinkedIn search bar to connect with people at companies that you know no one at. And so to get started, I'm going to show you guys how to do it on the desktop. So if you want to follow along, let's say you have a list of companies that you want to work for and Adobe is a company that you think would be awesome to work there, but you don't know anyone. So what you're going to do is type it in the search bar. And then once the company profile shows up, pretty much any company these days has a, has a profile. So you can probably apply this to any company underneath the cover photo. There's this number that says 26,286 employees. So I'll click on that. And what should happen next is every single employee that has a LinkedIn profile that works at Adobe will pop up. So right here it says about 27,000 results. That's awesome. And now what I want to do is try and filter that down from 27,000 people to a smaller number of people who are more likely to accept my connection request. So there's a few quick ways that you can do that. Underneath the search bar, you'll see these little circle rectangle things. Go to the far right and it says all filters click on that and then once you click on that you can filter by connections names locations current company past company school so these two are ones that i think are really useful past company uh, if you worked in retail or restaurant business you can find people who did that so let's say i want to find someone who worked at walmart because that was in the retail industry i can show results and of the 27,000 employees, only 29 of them worked at Walmart before they worked at Adobe. So I could message any one of them and be like, hey, I, I saw that you used to work in the retail industry at Walmart. I'm currently in the retail industry and am looking to transition into tech. Would love to hear about your experience and learn more about how that how that went for you. So that's one way to do it. Another thing that you can do is... I'm going to go back to the all filters and go to check off Walmart and then type in your school. Let's say you went to the University of New York. So New York University. I'm going to show results. And now from the 27,000 people, 103 of them went to New York University. And from there, you can message any of them and just say, hey, my name is so-and-so, and I saw that you're working at Adobe, graduated from New York University, and this. Love to connect and learn more about your experience. And so if you scroll down, you can see in their profile, you can read a lot about them. She graduated in digital strategy. Super cool. All right. Another thing you can do is she worked at Airbnb and then Adobe. So you can say, hey. So that you worked at Airbnb and are now working at Adobe. Would love to hear how that transition was for you, etc. And so, yeah, that's two quick ways. And the last thing that you can do is just click enter without even typing in a name. And then what you can do is there's posts, people, jobs, companies, etc. You can type posts or click on the post button. And then there will be another set of uh, filters that you can see and sort by sort or sorry, you can go to all of these and then click on all filters and then scroll down to where it says author company. And now I'm going to type Adobe. So what this will do is I'm going to show results of posts from people who the author works at Adobe. So these are all people that work at Adobe who have been posting content. So I could click on any single one of them and be like, hey, I saw your recent post about this um, or so-and-so. I loved it. Would love to learn more about your experience. And so, yeah, that's three quick ways that you can use the search bar on LinkedIn to find and connect with people that work at companies that you would love to work for. And this is how I networked my way into LinkedIn when I knew no one prior to, to that experience. So let me know if you have any questions or just your thoughts. We'd love to hear about it. Thanks so much.